Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a book review for Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And this is such a cool book that's full of mythology and it is set in the Jazz Age in Mexico. This follows a young lady named Cassiopeia and she is basically treated like crap by her family and they view her as a servant. One day while she is doing her duties, she comes across this old trunk of her grandfather's and she opens it. When she opens this trunk, she accidentally unleashes a Mayan death god who her grandfather entrapped after making a deal with this death god's brother. This death god that she has just freed is named Hunkame and he wants Cassiopeia to come with him and help him gather back his essence or parts of his body in order to become whole again, gain back his power, and take over control of the underworld and his rightful throne. As a reward, if they succeed, he is going to grant Cassiopeia whatever wish she desires. But if they fail, she will die. Number one, this is a gorgeous cover. This is my first Silvia Moreno Garcia book, and I loved it. I put it off for so long because it was so hyped in my head that I didn't want to be disappointed by my own excitement. <laughs> but it was just so good. I loved all the mythology that is weaved into the story and how seamlessly we transition into these magical realms and meet all these gods and they're so cool and I love mythology but I'm not at all familiar with Mexican or Mayan mythology and so this was such a cool experience to see all these and learn their names and their powers and what they do and how they interact with each other and with humans. This was so much more than the synopsis I just gave. You really follow Cassiopeia on such a good character arc and it's done in a very subtle kind of way. There's a lot of action, but it's not over the top, and you really get to follow Cassiopeia and Hunkame on their journey together. She deals with her cousin, who really treats her like crap, and he ends up siding with someone who doesn't want Cassiopeia to succeed, and so she kind of has to come to terms with the fact that they just may lose each other forever or maybe they'll become friends we don't really know as the journey goes on but you see her go from being slightly assertive to her cousin to just really coming into herself and finding out what she wants from life and from Hunkame and just really what she values as a person. And you get to see Hunkame from this god, doesn't really understand human emotions or human anything, and then he's slowly learning by being with Cassiopeia, and I just love their relationship so much. It's kind of a slow, subtle build into friendship, and possibly more. And I loved the climax of the story where we're in the underworld. And I won't go into detail because it's spoilers, but I loved the way that was done and I was on the edge of my seat. I read this book in two sittings in less than a day. And it just captured my attention. Like I said, the action isn't overly dramatic, but it is fast enough that I think it'll keep your attention. And the relationships in this book are really phenomenal. 
you know, jazz age, mythology, Mexico, part of it's in Guadalajara, which is where one of my best friends is from, and I could just see her while I was reading this book, and I think she would really like it, and it just gave me a little bit more insight into her culture and why she loves her culture so much. This is definitely an important book, and it didn't end the way I thought it would, but I was very satisfied. I wasn't disappointed by the ending. It was just different than what I thought I'd be, but that's definitely a plus. It wasn't predictable. So I highly recommend this book. I gave it four out of five stars, and I will definitely reread it in the future. So if you like mythology or stories about other cultures and things like that, I really think you'd love this book. And have you read it? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you guys about it. As always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.